Hello friends, I am Sayyukta Saxena, Certified Zentangle Teacher and today I am back with another Zentangle original pattern. I had posted the teaser for this pattern on my Facebook page, a tan tile with the tangle pattern Elish in focus. So today we are going to be learning the pattern Elish, right? So we will first learn the basics of how to draw the pattern and then we will draw a tile together as I have been doing in all my videos, right? Do follow my Facebook page by the name Sayukta Zentangle and my YouTube channel where I have been posting these videos regularly. Right? If you are a subscriber to the Zentangle Mosaic app, you can see all my work. I am there by the name Sanju CZT36. Right? So let's get started. Elish is a pattern which looks somewhat like an improvised version of the letter of the, of the cursive letter L, right? Something like this that we write in cursive writing, right? The letter L. So looks somewhat uh, inspired or somewhat improvised from that L. But uh, it is a pattern which when embellished looks like a jewel to me, right? So it has a very beautiful woven look. And the only trick to getting this pattern right is to follow the sequence of orine, right? So what I have drawn here is a slight S shape and then an aura and then I am going to repeat this inside like this, right? And then I am going to give it that L thing which we have here in the L that we drew like this, right? So this is the basic from where the pattern starts and then we just have to follow a sequence of auras which gives it the necessary look, right? So I am adding one aura below the line and one aura above the line, right? This was step one. Then I am going to add an aura here like this and another aura here like this. So this was step 2, right? Again, I will repeat the aura here. One in the inside and one in the outside. Step 3, right? Do the same exercise here. One in the outside and one in the inside of these lines. Right? Again, repeat the outside aura, step 4. So... I am just orying the initial lines that I had drawn. However, to get this woven kind of look, you just need to keep in mind that you are sequencing these auras in a certain fashion. Right? If you think you messed up in between, don't worry. Just follow the sequence from the next aura. Right? It's okay. Anyway, it it has so many auras, the woven look does come eventually, right? Again, adding auras to the outside. So, this is the basic pattern Elish. Now, how do you add some, you know, uh, these lines? You can extend to the inside also, like these, right? So, what is, how do you, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, embellish or add something to the pattern, then these are the auras. Uh, they provide a lot of space to play around with, right? Just a simple example to show. You can add some sparkle, you can add some orbs, you can add anything inside these auras in order to give it a decked up look, right? create a variation or a tangliation by adding to these auras. I'm just giving you a simple example. Adding some orbs. You can add some orbs here also. Right. And then there are a lot of lines emanating and merging at one place in this tangle so we generally add shading to those points right so let us see how we generally add shading to these portions from where lines are 
emanating, merging, whatever you would like to call it, right? You can also keep extending this weaving in the form of betweed without actually repeating all the auras, right? So that's one possibility. So just blend this. Right? So this is the basic elish. You can already, already see how it gives kind of a brooch or jewel, right? So what I was saying is you can, without touching other things, you can also extend these like betweed. Like this, right? So I'm not touching the other auras. There may not be enough space to add more auras. But you can always extend these in the fashion of betweed, right? The same here. Right? But you have to continue the woven look like this. Right? So let me show you a few tiles here. This is a tile, a zindala where Elish has been arranged in as a border tangle or in the outside and inside are normal tangles like fescue and moon pie. Right? So you can see how Elish looks like, like a border tangle. Then this is an arrangement where Elish has been, you know, arranged in a crisscross manner. One like this and one like this. Right? And some more patterns to accompany. Then this is another arrangement of Elish. One on the top of other. Right? And simple hollis to support. Right? And this is another tile that I drew where it is the center of attraction to Elish together. These tiles mostly involve Elish in different positions, right? Again, this one where it is there with a couple of uh, other tangles sitting on here, right? So these are mostly concentrating on different arrangements of Elish. Today we will draw a tile concentrating only on the pattern Elish, right? And we'll embellish and decorate and deck it up so that it looks like a jewel, I said right piece of jewelry so in front of me is this zendala tile and i'm going to add a slight pencil border here to the tile right and one more line so a double line border and we'll see what we'll do with it like this right and then i'm going to start with a leash right away i'm going to do a big one right so Starting right here, drawing a big one. Like this, right? And then adding an aura inside. Like this, okay? And then as I told, the next step would be A line like this and another line like this right now the next step is to add the first layer of aura I'm going to add a thick one so that there is ample space inside to fill in some tangles right so the objective is to 
embellish my jewel my dish right so I am adding another here thick one you can see here how I have broadly spaced my aura I will see if I want to add more right so I have added the first layer of aura now what I am going to do is add a thin aura inside this first layer like this so that whatever tangle I draw does not mingle with my outer aura it looks discreet right I am going to do this exercise inside all throughout the first aura that I drawn like this right a thin aura inside so that whichever tangle I plan to draw inside does not mingle with my aura right Take your time, go slow. Right, we have done that. Then let us first add some orbs the way I showed you. Always look nice when it comes to adding to the look of a tangle. Right, so I am adding these. Ops drawing behind, not drawing complete orbs as such, but drawing behind at many places. Right, make sure you fill in these small little gaps at the same time. right so we'll do the same exercise throughout in the first layer of the aura right throughout so I have done the same exercise in throughout the first layer of aura right then I'm adding the second layer here now right one to the outside and one to the inside a thick one so that again I have space to add something more right so you can see here already they are intersecting so there is no space for the third one no space here right so now I'm again going to do the same exercise add a thin aura inside just the way I did in the first one right so most of the zentangle patterns are a play with auras and you can see how these auras add embellish and at times create the basic pattern right so again and again just repeating the same lines and you create such a wonderful piece of work 
right so did the same exercise once again and now I'm going to add a simple pattern called Duda we have already learned this border tangle right spaces are small so you need to draw small zigzag lines from top and bottom traveling to almost three-fourths of the distance of the other line or the line on the other side again top bottom top bottom each line traveling to almost three-fourths of the distance of the other line right the spaces are small so whatever you can manage in that much space right yeah and then the simple line work the pattern duda nothing else and i think i forgot to aura there add an aura here You're working pretty small here, so take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Yeah. So adding the pattern Duda throughout the second layer of aura I think we are done with it so can you see how beautiful what a decked up look and how like a jewel it is shining without any shading right so let us now move to the other part of our tile so I'm going to keep the rest of the tile simple add a border which is similar to the border marasu but the pattern is called BTL juice because it has some offshoots or root like stuff coming out from there right so it is a Zentangle original looks like marasu So you can see how these root kind of stuffs are coming out from the pattern, from the border. Right? So now what I'm going to do is just like Marasu, instead of coloring it completely. add these lines right do the same exercise here also right add some fescues 
again like marasu at some distance add these sections you can either ink it or you can add these thin lines the way I am doing it right so I am going to continue doing this throughout so you can see here how I have completed the entire ring in the same fashion just like marasu right just few roots coming out here and there and the pattern is generally named as betel juice right so let's now add few things here and there so I'm going to be adding these stems right drawing very light you can even use a pencil to draw it because you may not like these stems to show as much right so a few here and there and then let's use a combination of two patterns to I'm going to start with mocha and arrange it on these stems we have already learned the pattern mocha right so I am arranging mocha on this stem and gradually reducing the size towards the top. Right? I'll do the same exercise other side also. right so keep reducing the size as you approach the top right again the same exercise on this one also a nice arrangement for mocha keeping it small towards the end right so they are almost touching each other if you can note here right drawing behind at places again one more stem like that So it's okay if and if you don't ink the center line eventually you will get that line because of the fashion in which you are drawing the mocha right again drawing some behind a little thought it will really go well with my leash so why not try it right so another one I will draw here right in the same way